Got up for sale, I got a 1950 Oldsmobile 88 Futuramic. Finished in this gorgeous blue with factory interior. I'm gonna walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up, and then we'll drive it. So if you do like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 50 Oldsmobile Futuramic. It's a four-door, a hell of a car. Original 303. Factory high dramatic, so that's the four-speed automatic. Nice to see a factory automatic in 1950. Um, the chrome on this car is gorgeous. The quality, all of it's been re-chromed. This kind of chrome, this chrome, the bumpers, the inner bumper there, the front little tips, that, this. All the trim, it's probably a nine out of 10, but like this stuff, this, 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 bumper, this, this is nice, letters are nice, this again, copy the other side, awesome, hubcaps, awesome, with the white wall tires, looks amazing, the quality of the paint is awesome, um, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to talk it up, I mean, it's, it's a really nice car, I mean, it's really nice to see a four-door that is restored very nicely, well-maintained, well taken care of, um, there's just a few little chips on the car. Again, it's very common with these cars. People drive them. I'm gonna pop the hood open though real quick. Let me put my camera down. Hood latch was under the dash, so I had to go do that. Beautiful. I love how they painted this. Normally it would be black. And you come on in here, you see the 324. The sun's hitting it really, really difficult. I'm trying to get a good idea. Beautiful finished with the correct air cleaner, carburetor, the writing on the side, the correct color. You have your vintage AC right there. But a nice compartment nonetheless. Um, the factory tag is right there. And yeah, it's nice, nice compartment nonetheless. Very, very factory correct. They did a nice job keeping it original. Okay, carrying on. It's believed to be 66,000 original miles. There is an oil change sticker from 95 showing 54,000. Couple little signs on the car make me believe it's original. Being 50, that's a lot of years of being susceptible to the elements. Now the underneath is amazing. There's no holes, there's no patches. It's got this rust prevention undercoating. The body mounts on all the sides. I know people like it, just like a 55 Bel Air. That's the common thing. The, the body mounts on the side, outside the frame, those are all really nice. But the blue's got a little bit of metallic in there. It's a very, uh, very nice mix or blend, I should say, that they put on this car. But there's a little, a little chip right there that's been touched up. Another little guy right there. One more and one more right there. I have the fender skirts in the trunk. Now the trunk has a couple little tattered pieces, original I think. You know, on something like this they would have changed it. I'll show you that when I get to it. You know, I'm jumping all over. Nice door jam, nice factory interior. And I love how they wrapped the bench seat in this plastic to preserve it. I, I love this. The floor mat, is original. I think people do this on your older cars because I got a 36 Dodge. They left the original mat in here. And now I believe this is the original mat because you know, they would have changed it. So down there, a little bit of ripping in it, but I got a floor mat that goes in it. I left it out to show it. So you see down there a little bit of ripping and another little rip right there. Um, but if you wanted to change that, that's fine. Pull it out, plop a new one in there. You see the AC vents radio. Nice dash though. There's the 66,000 miles. I know it's a little hard to read. Um, I believe everything works, but I will list it for sure in the ad. I know the horn does. And boy, does it work. There's the uh, oil change. 10, 11, 95. 54,300 miles. You see 66,600 there. Again, makes me believe that it is paperwork that I have on the car. 
since it is an automatic, here's your high dramatic drive maintenance recommendations because I believe first year for the automatic, if I'm not mistaken. So people, you know, didn't know how to use it. We drivers. Good housekeeping. Now, by the owner of the car, he must have slept with this. This must have been his Bible. This car is super clean, well taken care of. Original manual from 1950. Carrying on, dome light works and the headliner is perfect. And it's excellent. Moving on to the third, second door. Same thing, really nice. There's no rips at all on the floor in the back. That's really, really nice. Back seat, again, wrapped. A little more of the headliner up there. Door panel is about the same as the front. And I love the design. Don't get too many four doors, but you see this giant divot here because they have to take the fender well or the rear tire well into consideration here kind of cool just a little a little design feature that i do enjoy top of the car is nice all the glass is excellent anything i do overlook like a like a detail it will be in the ad so always double check between the ad and what i'm saying in the video I'll pop the trunk for you. The body is all steel. Again, reasons why I believe that it is low miles. And again, you see how straight it is. Just a little touch up right there. Let me pop it real quick with this one. Let me put the There's a trunk, and um, again, like I said, makes me feel like it's original because this kind of mat, that's a little older. You see a little rip, you see a little hole there. Something like this would have been replaced, but I believe they kept some original things on it to show the preservation of the car. Excuse me. Nice compartment, you got a spare. There's your two, um, you know what they are. I just slipped my mind, I said it earlier. Under trunk hood is painted very nicely, matches the car. They didn't skimp out on it. Okay. It's a little mark right here on the paint a little looks like something was rubbed up against it okay, I think you kind of see that right there again you can see right now how how shiny the paint is how clear everything's coming back in All the, all the gaps line up really, like, almost flawlessly. The guy definitely did a really nice job taking care of this car and getting it to the point where it is. Car runs, drives, starts, stops very nicely. Let me see what this is. Oh, it's an ashtray. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Take your kids out for ice cream. <laughs> Again, here's a better shot of the headliner. Really nice. You see the reflection up there off of the seats. See? That's cool. I love Oldsmobiles. I had a 55 hardtop with vintage AC, and that, that started the, the Oldsmobile craze for me. So 
So it will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of the video. So please don't comment on the video asking me what the price is when you have all the tools to find it. I won't respond. <laughs> Super Deluxe Radio. So, again, 50 Oldsmobile 88 Ford or Futuramic. Original 303. Vintage AC. We will fire it up in a couple of minutes here and we'll drive it. So if you want to see the car drive, see it run, listen to it. It has dual exhaust as well. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, a couple of chips there, the little mark on the back. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll be for sale later today. Thank you. Nice and smooth. I know what you're thinking, you saw a little bit of the smoke. 45 degrees out here, I don't know if you can see that. So, the exhaust is gonna, it's gonna be seen. 